for Red Tractor Nation. I'm here with Steve Fainel from Wind Gap, Pennsylvania, and he has not one, but two gold demonstrators here that we're going to talk about. Now, farming has been in your family for over a hundred and over a hundred years, farming in the family, and uh, he and his brother farmed together up until about five years ago, but prior to that, uh, Steve, you and your brother went out and bought this tractor, but it wasn't this color. No. Why was it not this color? It was red. They were supposed to go back to the dealer. And after There was a demonstration program in 1970 <clears throat> that they were go out to the farmers to try. Mm -hmm. And then when they were done with the program, they were supposed to go back to the dealer and get painted red. And then they could sell and them. sold as and a then they sold. tractor. So that's what they did. Yeah. They took it back and they painted all the gold parts red. Yes. And then they just sent it out. But yes. you knew it was a gold demonstrator, not only because the seller told you that, right? But it had this black cowl up here yes. where the instruments yep. and stuff are out here. Yep. Yep. And that's why you knew that it was a demonstrator. Mm -hmm. And so what did you do with it at first? We used it on the farm. Uh, used it on the farm like a tractor is supposed to be. It's supposed to be. Then we found out that the hydro unit had issues and uh, they just got parked for a while because he knew it was probably going to be expensive and we had other tractors to use. Right. So we just left it sit in the corner of the shed. Okay. And then about five years ago, uh, you decided to get out of the farming, Correct. leave that up to your brother to do. Yeah. But you guys divvied up some of the, ma the machinery. Yes. And this lady went home with you. Went with me. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so what did you do with her after that? Well. We took it to a dealership I work at. And, what dealership uh, is that? Eckroth Equipment Company. Where are they located? They're in Orfield, Pennsylvania. Okay, yep. in Orfield, Pennsylvania. Yep. So, so you went to work for them, and yep. you took the, your tractor with you. Yeah. You said, I come with the tractor. <laughs> so I come with the tractor. You took it in there, mm -hmm. took it all apart, mm -hmm. and went through it completely. So yes. what kind of things did you have to do to it? We had the, the hydrostatic transmission had to be totally rebuilt. That okay. was totally shot. That got sent to hers machine in Kansas, and they totally rebuilt that. The engine was good. We just went over it, changed fluids in it, okay. changed oil, got all new hydrogen in it. The front end needed some work. We put new tie rods, put steering arms on it. Uh, basically, that was about it. Didn't have to do a lot. Not a lot. But uh, put a new flex plate in for the for the drive for the hydrostatic and. Uh, Got it all together. And there's a fresh new pretty is like a battery and yep. you redid the seat or is that original? That's a new seat. That's a new seat. That's a new seat. And yep. some new halogen lights. Yep. yep. Beautiful chrome stack. Uh, oh yeah, of course. Hey, did it come with a chrome stack like that? No. No, no they did not. Nope. Who's gonna waste money on a chrome stack for a tractor, right? <laughs> we will. Yep. And then uh brand new tires still got the little newbies on them. Yep. All right. So you're working at the Case IH dealer in your parts man, yes. specialist on the parts counter, and uh, you get an opportunity. And uh, what was that opportunity for? The 826 that I had. For have. an 826 over here. Yep. We're going to take a look at that. So this 826, you heard about it. Your boss, did, did your boss hear about it? My boss had heard about it from the neighbor forum that was right next to the dealership, uh -huh. and uh, he said that I should, that he should talk to me because I had this tractor, right. 1026. And he knew how much you loved that one. That I figured that maybe yeah. I'd have an interest in this one. Yeah. So then, I thought, well. <laughs> Who can't do with a second girlfriend. That's right. <laughs> but not a second wife. No, mm. no, 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 no. So, you got, you got a hold of this one. What kind of shape was it in when you got it? Good mechanical shape because they were using it on the farm. Okay. It did have size smaller tires on, which the other one did too. Okay. So I put new tires on. The hydro was good. Okay. The engine was good. Just did basic things to it. Serviced it. Got everything ready. Put a new seat on because okay. had a different seat yeah, on. Yeah. What what year did you get this? I got this. So let's see. That was like 2014. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you got a 44 year old seat. Right. Yeah. yeah they don't last that so long. So this was time for new. This <laughs> time for a new yeah. one. Yep. Yeah. Chrome stack. Yeah. What what was it painted? Was it painted red this when you got it? It was painted red too. Okay, yes. but you knew it still had the. You saw the black dash. Yep. This cover here, you took the cover off. There was gold underneath. Gold on the back side. Yes. See. Evidently, the dealers weren't too interested in doing a full paint job. They basically just painted the hood. Just that paint the it. hood, get rid of the gold, like I H yes. told them to. Yes. That's Bare right. minimum. Yeah. But 
you found you knew it was a, a real yes. demonstrator, which yes. which are very they're they're pretty rare. Each dealer was supposed to get one. Okay. When the program was going on, it, it depended. Some of them got a different model tractor, but this one was sold at the dealer that is no longer in business anymore. Okay. But that was the local dealer in the area before Ekros were there. Before Ekros was there. And then okay. that was sold new by Messick Farm Equipment down in Lancaster. Okay. Yeah. Well, these are some fantastic looking machines. You've done oh, a great you. job. And kudos to, to the dealer you work for. Well, were they yeah. a big help? Uh, they were a big help. And, and they also keep you employed, too. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I had a good help with a mechanic there, Wyatt, at work there. Wyatt? Wyatt Gehringer, yep. He took me, got both tractors, went over them good, and uh, made sure everything was right. And then Stauffer Tractor in Myerstown, they painted them for me. Wow. So I can't take credit for the paint because they, <laughs> they did that. Yeah. Well, i tell you what. Both of these tractors look like they could go to the dealership tomorrow as demonstrators because they are that pristine and that well done. We appreciate you and we appreciate your love appreciate for the it. IH product. Thank you. Thank you for watching Red Tractor Nation. And if you like this story and you want to hear more like it, subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.